to the residents of Camp Ashraf that the United States Congress stands with them. And I'd like to take a moment to look at the bigger picture. Unfortunately, as we know, innocent Iranians have spent over three decades under the radical, repressive Iranian regime, the Islamic regime of Iran. Let it be thus. Thank you to you for your strong grassroots support for making this happen. And now, the real host. Uh, and our resolution to make the United States uh, uh, explicitly assume responsibility for those at Ashraf has, I think now, about 230 uh, co-sponsors. Distinguished members of the House of Representatives, it's indeed a pleasure to be speaking with you on the occasion of Nowruz, the Iranian New Year. I hope that the start of spring would herald the coming of the spring of freedom for the Iranian people. that brutalizes the people, that kills its citizens in the streets, and in my opinion has uh, declared war on the people of Iran. And that rogue regime led by Ahmadinejad continues to do things that are oppressive to the people of Iran. Innocent uh, people in Ashraf. And so we will long live free Iran. But freedom is coming. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you for your patriotism. Thank you for your love of freedom. Thank you. I also want to thank uh, Congressman Filner for his leadership. The fact that he had... Whether you are in Camp Ashraf or you are in Iran on the streets protesting, we are with you. And the American people stand with the Iranian people. You, you truly... Uh, fit the definition of freedom fighter. Supportive and will continue to be that way. And uh, like I say, it's just good to have you here. Thank you very much. Our threat to justice in the streets of every nation on the planet Earth, and we must end injustice in the streets of Iran. 704. Uh, certainly, uh, there needed to be protection for the people in Camp Ashraf. democracy and thank you for not giving up the fight. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>